You know, this is some guy named Jay today. We got Keith Robinson in the house with us. We're going to get to know you with him. How are you doing, Keith Robinson? I'm doing well, man. Can't complain. Oh, yes. Good, good. You ready for this interview? Yeah, let's do it. I'm with it. All right. <laughs> All right, so, Keith. Mm-hmm. Definitely love love everything that you have going on. You're kind of like a triple threat out here. I mean, you acting, songwriting, singing, you're basically doing it all. So I'm curious, which one came first? Because a lot of people don't know that, you know, you can do they soul, honey, make them wet, everything. Your voice is amazing. So I appreciate it. <laughs> you're welcome. Which one kind of came first, the acting, the singing? Uh, singing was first. The music is definitely where it started with me. I moved out to L.A. Uh, I was in a group, and we had a deal for a brief moment back in the day with Motown Records. So that's what moved us out to L.A. to pursue music, and the acting thing came second. kind of happened by a divine accident. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Now, Love Somebody is your latest single, correct? Right, sure. The video dropped today. Oh, wow. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, you're like, I believe it was like 28th on the chart. Like, that is crazy. Like, did you expect it to go that far? Like, what was your expectations of it? I mean, uh, you know, I, I just wanted to connect. I, want, I wanted it to connect with the people. I wanted it to uh, to uh, resonate with the people, and um, I think it's done that. So, I'm, I'm, you know, anytime people, I get good feedback, if just one person tells me they dig it, then, you know. Uh, I feel like mission accomplished, so you know I I, I, I kind of put it out there with, with no expectations, but other than people just feel the feel the vibe, enjoy the music. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Now, now, uh, who, who who do you work with uh, on the single? Uh, produced by a young man named uh, Vincent Invincible Watson, real dope producer out of D.C. He's out here in L.A. with me now. Uh, real, uh up and coming man, he's uh, super talented. Oh, okay. Now, you are fine, honey, super fine. I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> are, you uh, are you in love right now? Are you dating? I am I, I am with somebody right now. I'm loving somebody right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Was she, like, kind of inspiration for the song, or you just kind of like to talk about love and all of those types well, of things? Well, I just, I just kind of, you know, different people trigger different emotions or different, you know, ideas for songs. I mean, uh this album was written, this song was kind of written kind of beforehand, but, I mean, it kind of speaks to my sentiment, you know, as far as relationships go and, you know, life and love. Everything is, is life and love from my, my point of view. So I guess uh, everyone around me who, uh, are, you know, in my life kind of inspires me in some way. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, when, any women listening, he's taken. So y'all listen to that. <laughs> now, let me ask you, Keith. Uh, now, now you're currently on the show Saints and Sinners. Um, yeah. Is any of your music being placed into the uh, into the show, or are those all different original songs for the show, or? or what? Well, we did a soundtrack for the show, so I, you know, I perform. I, I have two songs on the soundtrack. One's called Pain, and one is called. Uh, uh, keep holding on with Erica Campbell from Mary Mary. So, a lot of the songs that you hear in that show were actually created. Uh, specifically for that show and those characters. So, uh, you know, it's still my voice. It's still me performing, but it's real specific to the show and to the storyline and the plot of, uh, you know, what the characters are doing. Now, how how that pans out in the seasons forthcoming, we'll see. Uh, there's a small clip of me humming Love Somebody in one of the scenes you might you might catch. I don't know if you watch the show, but basically we customize all that music for the show. Oh, okay. Hmm, okay, okay. Now, what is if for people who don't watch the show, talk about your character and kind of like the plot of the of your role on the show. Well, I play a guy named Miles. He's a R&B star, kind of falling out of grace, and is and back in the church. Uh, he's the, uh, over the music ministry in the church, and he's kind of going through it, trying to find his way back to the church and trying to navigate his way through his own personal relationships, which mm-hmm. are kind of helter skelter. He's kind of, you know, having his cake and eating too, and trying to find, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing because I actually was watching it um, last night and I seen that um, what's what's the girl that's a singer that plays your woman in the show? um, Demetria McKinley. Yes, I seen it. Yeah, she was trying to leave you and you were singing at the club. It was amazing. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. 
I love it. So you're like um, one of the best kept secrets. I mean, I don't know if a lot of people know that, you know, some of your songs were, and correct me if I'm wrong, were actually associated with the Dream Girls and actually nominated for Oscars, right? Is that correct? Well, I, one of the songs that I performed on the soundtrack was nominated for an Oscar. I performed six songs on the soundtrack. One of them got nominated for an Oscar. So, as as well as uh, two other songs from the soundtrack, which was uh, "Listen" from Beyonce and uh, "Love You I Do," which uh, Jennifer Hudson performed. So, you know, I was, wow, that, was that project, of course. That was like one of the biggest hits on the show, the Listen song. That's crazy. Wow. Kudos. Well, yeah, that was Beyonce. The Beyonce performed that. So, you know, there's a lot of great music in that in that project. So, you know, I was happy to be part of it. Yeah. Uh, How was it working on that movie set and being around all of those big names? It was great. Everybody was cool. Everybody was, you know, respectful of one of the talent shows. It was a really great experience. Okay, now let me ask you this, Keith. Uh, now, uh, who are you listening to right now? What's in your iPod? What's in, what are you pumping in your speakers on your own personal time? Man, I, well, I listen to a little bit of everybody. I mean, I'm listening to this. I've been bumping that Justin Bieber I like. I like that uh, Party Next Door. I like um, I listen to uh, Jay Moss. I listen to uh, uh, Rick Ross, Drake. I mean, I, my, my, my uh, I love Steel. I love Seal. I love Sting. My 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 musical tastes are kind of kind of very very wow. eclectic kind of like yeah. Very. <laughs> well, not, well yeah. who would you like to work with now? Like who would you like to do a collab with, or if you haven't done it already? Ah, you know what? That's um, I, I there's so many great artists. I mean, anybody who you know who's a great artist is down to collab with me. I'm 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 down for it. So it's kind of hard to me to get to a point one specific artist that I would love to do a collab with. Um, it, it's kind of varied. I mean, you'd have to throw them out there. It's probably nine times out of ten it would be a yes. <laughs> now, okay, so Keith, you've been in some major productions this Christmas, Dream Girl, um, some stuff with Fat Albert, Get On Up. Like, what, I mean, you've really done a lot. Like, what is, I guess, one of the most exciting sets that you've worked on? Well, they all have uh, resonate in different ways. Um, you know, I, I've had a great experience in, in some way with, with with all of them. So, I mean, I think they all kind of specifically uh, speak to to different experiences. So, I, I mean, there's not I don't know if there's one particularly that sticks out more than the other one. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of more for the fans or resonates more with the fans. But for me, uh, I always love the experience and the journey. It, each project takes me on, so I, I've never really, I've never really choose. Whatever I'm doing currently is the one that I'm loving the most. I feel wow. that, and currently speaking on that is just the Tupac biopic, right? Correct. Right, right. Wow. We just finished that up. Um, I think a couple months ago. It'll be out in September. Mm. Okay. Wow. Crazy. Wait, now let me. Yeah. What, what would be your dream role? Like, you know, what 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 do you like I definitely want to play this character, play this kind of uh what would be your dream role if you could get it? I would like to play Donnie Hathaway in uh the Ah, okay. Why why yeah. why that? I mean, I tell you, he's been such a great influence on me, such a heavy influence on me, um, musically. I think his story is compelling, uh, you know, it's kind of a uh, the element of mystery surrounding it, and, and there's a lot of people who are influenced by him, or and don't realize it. I think a lot, of, especially a lot of young artists, a lot of young vocalists. So, I think he's a vocalist that uh, doesn't get as much recognition as he deserves. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you. If you now, if you would you play Danny Hathaway, who would you cast as like a Roberta Flack in that movie? Because you got to be. <laughs> That's a good question. I don't, I don't know. Um, hmm. As a Roberta Flack. Mm, that's a good question. I'd have to kind of, I, 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 maybe an India or somebody. Uh, oh, okay. um, yeah. That's interesting. I don't know. I, I'd have to. I'd have to sleep on that one. No one's ever asked me that. It's a good question. <laughs> yeah, I would like to know myself. <laughs> yeah. Now I want to hear your voice. Are you able to kind of give us a snippet of the new single "Love Somebody"? Like we we want to hear. It. I want to hear it live. You want me to sing over the phone inside of the gym? I don't know if you can hear me. It's kind of crowded here. Yes, just go ahead. Go for it. Why can't you love somebody? 
When it's right in your face, why can't you love somebody? I'm right in your ear, I'm only one kiss away. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yes. I love how you just, you just went you just went huh? straight into it, man. You didn't have to warm up. You just, boom, just you know, that's what you're <laughs> No doubt. Yeah. That is amazing. Oh, my gosh. So what's what's next for you? I know you have this Tupac biopic, but anything else in the works that we don't see? Uh, well, I have a t- I have a, a television show myself uh, in development. With I can't really discuss the details right now. Uh, we go back for season two of Saints and Sinners in a few months, and uh, the next single, 24K, will be out uh, in a month or so, and then we'll drop the album uh, at the end of the summer. So just finishing up the album and uh, you know continuing the rollout. Okay, now now for your album, are you uh are you, you know, the, the producer that produces current single the, the one from D, from DC? Uh, I forgot the gentleman's name. Sorry about that. Um, Vin, uh, Invincible. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Is, is yeah. he producing most of your projects, or is he just you know? No, he did. He did like two or two that, songs. It's a collective of about three or four producers who did the whole album. He's one of them. So uh, he, you definitely hear hear his uh, influence on the album. But uh, there's a couple other producers who did their thing as well. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Mm. Okay. Yep. Well, that's that's amazing. Any advice for anybody that's like trying to act? I'm actually trying to get into it myself. Um. So, any advice on like any upcoming actresses or singers, or anybody that's trying to get in the business? Um, I, I would just say continue to study your crafts and stay consistent with them. You know, with your networking and promoting yourself when the age of self promotion because people gotta hear it and see it to mm-hmm. to even know that you exist uh, as far as with mm-hmm. your craft. And uh just don't put a deadline or timeline on your journey. Just on it. Enjoy the enjoy the process and you know, stay mm-hmm. consistent with it. Definitely. I think that's something we all need to hear. Plug your yeah. social media yeah. first so your fans can reach you. Yeah, my social media is key sings. Everything is key sings. My website is keysings dot com. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything is Keith Sings, one word. So hit me up, I'll hit you back for sure. Okay, yeah. where can everybody get the, the mm-hmm. single from? The new single, Love Somebody, is available everywhere. Amazon, Google Play, iTunes, you name it, it's out. And like I say, the video is officially out today, so log on to YouTube or my website, keysings.com, and you can check the latest video out. Okay. 